To further prepare for global domination, the secret US government, led by the corrupt holders of the Ark, also known as the Illuminati, or the New Global Union, or the New World Order, or just plain Nazis using the Eye of Lucifer as their symbol, has started building since the 1940s large underground bases with every commodity you can think of. These bases are basically large cities underground connected by high-speed magneto-leviton trains that have speeds up to Mach 2. According to Phil Schneider, the black budget is a secret budget that garners 25% of the gross national product of the United States. The black budget currently consumes trillions of dollars per year. Presently, there are over 129 deep underground military bases, or DUMs, in the United States. These underground bases were built using nuclear-powered laser drills that can drill seven miles per day. Also, dedicated nuclear explosions were held to create large underground spaces. A lot of contractors work in these places, but never more than three to four weeks always under strict supervision and before entering a site they are warned that if they talk about what they see it will cost them their lives. As mentioned men are the result of a genetic modification by space aliens. These aliens have been on earth for a long time and lived in large underground cities all over the world. Collaboration with modern governments began as early as 1933 with the Bavarian Illuminati and Thule secret societies. And this collaboration was brought into America via the CIA, which was established with the help of American Nazi agents as well as European Nazis who were brought into America through Project Paperclip and other operations. It was agreed that the aliens and the upper-class secret government would help each other as agreed in the 1954 Griada Treaty. By 1979, the aliens didn't respect the treaty at all and it was in this year when, at Dulce Air Force Base, a huge underground base was being built and during excavation, an underground alien city was discovered. There are several species of aliens working with the U.S. at the Underground 7 level facility at the Alien U.S. Government Biogenetic Research Base in Dulce, New Mexico. The reason they help the U.S. Government is because the aliens need space here on Earth for conducting experiments on humans and storing humans in suspended states for reasons unknown. In exchange, the aliens give the U.S. Government technology. anti-gravity propulsion, genetic research, quantum technologies, computer technology, biological warfare, medicine, GSM, etc. The greatest weapon the devil has is the disbelief people have in him. The devil represents evil and those who want to dominate are the evil ones because they keep their knowledge from saving lives and improving the world. Instead, the evil ones will make the people more docile and stupid using more tricks in order to achieve their goal, which is world and universal domination. The story of the aliens seems so unreal that like the devil, it is subject to ignorance and ridicule, and that is its greatest weapon. In the past and present, the evil ones have tried a number of methods and products to manipulate people. AIDS, invented by a laboratory in Chicago, Illinois in 1972. It was a biological weapon to be used against the people of the United States. Second, the US government has a Tesla device to generate earthquakes. NASA only landed on the moon once. Almost 90% of drugs trafficking is organized by the biggest secret services in the world, 
like CIA, NSA, MI5, MI6, and so on. Since the US is in Afghanistan, poppy production has reached an all-time high, and never has there been so much heroin on the market. People who don't need drugs needn't worry. Their needs are covered by the pharmaceutical industry. The global warming story is a hoax. The Earth is warming up, but not as a result of CO2 produced by man, but because the cycle of the Earth is just like it is. Remember that 10,000 years ago, the whole northern part of the world was covered in ice. It's what we call an ice age. The Ark, in its recent form, started its journey in the deserts of Egypt and was carried to the Holy Land by the Jewish people. In Jerusalem, the Ark started its journey around the world heading west. Everywhere the Ark has been, one or more obelisks are erected as a symbol of establishment. In the future, the Ark will travel to China, Russia, Iran, until it reaches Jerusalem again, which means the whole world. In the moment, the Anunnaki Empire will settle and rule Earth uncovertly. On many important sites in the world, buildings carrying symbols of Lucifer's return are common. The best known example is the Pentagon, which suggests a pentagram referring to the Jewish symbolism and the symbolism of the Ark. Another example is the Israeli High Court. It was built in exactly 750 days, used exactly 250,000 stones, all hand-laid and was funded by the Rothschilds, the founders of the central banks and the World Bank. The army of the NWO and its intelligence agencies will be able to track and trace everybody on Earth and influence their opinions or simply dispose of them. Socially, everybody will be watched by their neighbors and friends and mobbed if they have different opinions. The rich, richer and smarter, the poor, poorer and dumber will support the pyramid with Lucifer's eye on top as it has always been. This will be the future and the future is now.